the United States could see a change to its president come Monday. On Monday, we could see President Biden decide to resign as president of the United States, meaning Vice President Kamala Harris would then step in. We could also see President Biden decide to withdraw his ticket for the upcoming presidential election on November 5th, 2024. Now, either one of those things could happen, or the least likely option is President Biden does exactly what he's been doing, he runs for re-election, and maybe he wins. I don't know. But here's what I do know. It's coming down to money. According to reports, they are saying that once the money dries up, not just for President Biden and the Biden campaign, but for all Democrats, then that's when we're going to see a change. Well, it's already happening. And I talked about this the other day, and I said that somebody wrote to me telling me that their boss, who I did not name, but their boss, who is a very big donor to the DNC, well, he is withholding all of his funding. The same thing goes for the heiress of Disney, uh, people that you know, own Walmart. These are some big names. But I'm going to break all this down in just a moment, explain what is going on right now, what we're going to see tonight, as well as over the course of the weekend, and what is likely going to happen on Monday. So make sure you stick around and watch this entire video. I'll explain exactly what is going on. But all I ask is two things. First, hit the like button if you want more updates on what is going on regarding President Biden. And the second thing is, make sure you share this video with your friends and family over on Facebook so they too know exactly what is going on. But let's get right down to it. So look at what's going on right now. According to the Washington Post, they wrote an article just this morning that says business leaders and pro-democracy activists send letter asking Biden to withdraw. Says the letter sent to the White House is the latest outreach from the donor and activist community pushing for a new nominee after the president's debate performance. Now, here's where things get interesting. Tonight, President Biden has an interview with George Stephanopoulos. And this is going to be a very important interview. In some cases, this could be bigger than both of the debates against former President Donald Trump. First thing you need to understand, he's only done one debate. The next one is likely going to be canceled. But let's read a little bit of this article, okay? Look at this right here. It says, we respectfully urge you to withdraw from being a candidate for re-election for the sake of our democracy and the future of our nation, wrote 168 signatories to the private letter, which continued to gain signatures after its delivery to senior White House officials. Now, here's where I think things get very interesting, okay? Some of the people that are signing this letter, Christy Walton, billionaire daughter of uh, Walmart's founder, okay? We've got a former NFL commissioner, we got a former Google executive. We got, um, who else? We got a Harvard Law School professor, University of uh, New York University professor and podcaster, uh, former Army secretary. We got a uh, hedge fund investor, Kevin Brennan. We got Vicki uh, Hausman, the CEO of Ford Majority. Right? We got all these different people coming out publicly stating they want him gone. Well, I, I want to play this for you. Listen to this. But when the money dries up, is that the number one factor that will convince Joe Biden that he has, in fact, lost? No question, because if you look at their policies, uh, the reason they push them is because they raise money from them. And so I think uh, this is a direct correlation, correlation, and I think this is what will eventually uh, cause Joe Biden to step down. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to find someone to push and to stand up uh, for these policies, but you continue to hear these prominent Democrats say that Joe Biden is doing a good job. You know, even though American families can't afford groceries and gas prices are screaming and, you know, we're on the brink of World War III, and so uh, it's just really confusing, uh, but at the end of the day, they, they need a really good uh, snake oil salesman uh, to take the realm uh, to push these policies. Yeah. 
So right there, he says, when the money dries up, that's what he believes is going to be the deciding factor. Guess what? The money is drying up. The money has been drying up for the past week. Ever since that debate, ever since that debate with former President Donald Trump, President Biden has seen his campaign funding take a hit. But it's not just him. If it was just him, Democrats would be okay. Because there's more money that those donors could provide for them to win their campaigns. But the issue right now is that it's not just them. It's not just him. It's them as well. They are losing their donors right and left. That's the big issue. This is one of the reasons why Democrats at this time, they're starting to move towards Kamala Harris. President Biden is digging in. He's digging in his heels. He does not want to step down. But they may force him to. And this could all happen this week. Okay? Look at this. This is another article from the Washington Post. It says, Biden faces critical day to push back against calls uh, to withdraw. It says, with a rally in Wisconsin and an interview on ABC, President Biden hopes to begin turning the tide after days of criticism of his recent debate performance. Well, I want to play this clip for you as well. Because again, I, and I think this guy is right, that this interview tonight, if he goes and screws this one up, it's over. Come Monday, he will have to at least withdraw his, his candidacy or he is going, and, and I don't know exactly which direction it's going to go because it will depend on what Democratic governors and lawmakers say. If they're feeling a pushback from their donors, from their constituents, and they want Biden out, they will push for President Biden to step down resign as the president of the United States and Vice President Kamala Harris would then step in. But listen to this. I thought that we're going to have two big nights. Yep. Conventions don't matter. That the two debates, I don't think there's going to be a second debate. And that tonight's interview could actually be even more important. If he doesn't come across strong, focused, and most importantly, on the future, Right. This is the single biggest complaint that all voters had, <clears throat> regardless of whether you're Republican or Democrat. All they did is fight about the past. What are you going to do for me now, next month, next right. year? You mean what can be? That's the big one. Okay, They were just fighting about the past. But what are they going to do? What is the president going to do for the future? Did President Biden answer that? No. Did Trump answer that? No. And again... This is one of the reasons why some experts say that President Biden cannot debate Donald Trump because he has no idea how to stay level-headed. Trump will get in his head, will just pick at him, and he will explode. Now, the last thing I want to leave you with is if Biden resigns on Monday, this is going to cause the stock market to potentially flip. This is going to cause many people to worry as to what comes next. Because if President Biden resigns, Vice President Kamala Harris steps in. Will she then try to get Congress to pass other bills? Will she push her own agenda? What are we going to see? Honestly, I have no clue. I don't know what she's going to try to introduce. But what I do know is that no matter who is the president over the next you know, six months, five months, whatever, whatever we have left, whoever that president is, is likely not going to change what is happening right now. But it's going to make things questionable and more difficult come 2025. So we'll see what happens. The one thing I can promise you is I will be here every step of the way, and I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. But as of today... That is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.